think that his work ethic is like, it's impeccable. He works very hard to make it look easy. And that is a big takeaway. I mean, that to me is generally the takeaway from any really amazing comedy endeavor that I ever see. You have to work so hard to make it look like you didn't work on it at all. There's a big group of people that go into making a comedy show happen. A lot of voices and a lot of thought and a lot of like blood and sweat and fights and tears and like a lot goes into a show like that to make it look like he just is just riffing. That was a that was a great takeaway and also to have like I mean as I just mentioned to to understand to to know about what a point of view is really to like to figure out how you feel about something and lean hard into that mm -hmm. and you know there were certain there was subject matter that John did not have an interest in exploring or not that he didn't have an interest in exploring but he didn't feel like he could speak with authority on that subject matter and that I thought was like good terrain for me because I did feel like I could speak with authority on that subject matter. Mm. And it was just stuff that we didn't cover much. We didn't really cover reproductive rights on The Daily Show much, if at all. Did you want to? Did you were you able to pitch any of those storylines? Um, I, yeah, I mean, anytime that we did, it wasn't really, we didn't go very far with it because, I mean, you know, you're distilling your point of view through someone else. You really, mm -hmm. and when you're, when you're working on someone else's show, you're really working in the service of their point of view. And, it, you know, and so it's not so much that I was like, I wish we were doing this story and I wish we were doing it this way. It was more like, this is the point of view that we're focusing on right now. And I think that that was completely fine.